quick video here on finding a AC leak on the Chevy Volt. This is a 2013, and all you really need is a black light pen. You can get them at AutoZone or Amazon. That's because the Chevy Volt system is pre-charged with dye. The dye will glow brightly under black light. This is best done at nighttime or in the dark. So what you need to do is use your black light pen and follow the AC lines looking for fluorescent green. So here we're going to look at the Schrader valve here on the high side. Nothing unusual there. Low side Schrader valve over here. You see that fluorescent green. There is a decent amount of buildup there, but it's mostly inside the valve. It's not really outside. So you want to follow the lines. The electric compressor is down there. You can get better angles if you remove the air box here. It comes off very easily. You pretty much just have to unmount this screw up here and it'll pop out. It'll also let you see into the condenser up front. It's hard to see on the camera, but I got no leaks there either. The AC lines also all go behind the engine. The engine cover comes off easily with two T30 Torx screws that get you much better visual access. As part of this access, you'll be able to see the lines entering through the firewall and where the lines split off to the engine chiller for the uh, that, that cools the battery, the chiller cools the battery. So this all looks good, I already examined this. You can also use a boroscope or something like that to get in the cracks that you can't see. And then not seeing anything on the outside is bad. Cause that means something on the inside is probably not good. So coming in through the passenger side door, and on the center stack, there's a panel here that we can actually rip off just with our bare hands. It pops right out. It's held in with these clips. Get our light in there. And that's not good. I can already see a ton of highlighter yellow. That is a fantastic sign of the evaporator core leaking. And there's the drain hose. The drain hose has drops, drops dripping off of it. And you can touch this stuff with your fingers. I'll reach in there. And if it's oily, if it's oily, that's pretty much exactly what you're looking for. The evaporator core lies directly above this, buried deep in the dash. And you, you shouldn't have any yellow glow down here. This is a pretty bad leak. Another spot, if you are suspecting the evaporator core, you can always check your condensate drain line below the car. If you park your car in the same spot every day, then there's a good chance that you have a fluorescent puddle of oil building up down there as your AC drains. And that side panel pops back on. So there you have it. That's how you're gonna that's how you want to check the vault for leaks on your AC system. Don't forget that it is pre-charged with dye. You don't have to add your own dye. So now I get the fun task of taking apart the entire dash to replace the evap. Maybe I'll have a follow on for that. At a dealer, that's gonna be about a $2,000 job. That's all I got. Good luck out there.